Hi there, welcome again to my channel. Today our topic is about subjective pronouns. This is uh, one of the most uh, difficult parts in English grammar and this time we are going to focus on how to use subjective pronouns in a sentence. Alright, like this example, Joseph and me or I will submit the report. This is somewhat confusing because uh, most likely your answer is me but this time we are going to analyze carefully how to get the correct answer but of course if you are new in this channel please don't forget to like subscribe and also click the notification bell in order to be updated with my new video and of course please share also all right let us uh, proceed first we need to discuss first what is the definition of case Ano ba ang case? Case refers to the form, a word, and its function in a sentence. Okay, the English language has just three cases. We have subjective, possessive, and the other one is objective. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss only how to determine the subjective uh, pronoun in a sentence how a subjective pronoun is used in a sentence and how to get the correct answer all right subjective case is also called nominative or predicate nominative and they are called subjective because they do the action in the sentence of course also well in all sentences the subject is always the doer of the action okay we have the list of nominative case pronouns. We have I, you, he, she, we, they, it, who, and whoever. All these pronouns are used as subject in the sentence. Okay, like these examples. I went to the store today. Okay, the doer of the action in this particular sentence is the pronoun I, because I is the subject. And the next example, she talked to her brother on the phone. The doer of the action here is the pronoun she. And then the third example, the doer of the action is the pronoun you, because you is the one who ran five miles yesterday. And then next example, they is the pronoun that is used as uh, the subject in the sentence, because it is the doer of the action. And then we is also the doer of the action, and it here is the doer. Is also the doer of the action. All right. Now let us go back to this original sentence. Joseph and me or I will submit the report. Now, in this sentence, this composed of a subject, which is called compound subject. Kasi dalawang subject. Joseph and me or I. Now, in order to get the correct answer, we need to simplify the sentence. Just cover Joseph and to make it simple, para magig isang lang ang subject, me or I will submit the report. Of course, if your answer is me, it sounds wrong because you cannot use me as subject in the sentence. So the correct answer here is I. And since the correct answer is, is I, then in the original sentence, the correct answer is I. All right. It is not me. It is I. Okay. I hear the correct answer. All right. Now, in compound predicate sentences, example, the contestant are Ben and me or I. Now, this sentence is a sentence which is written in inverted manner. Baliktad ng pagkakasulat. And linking verb here is used. Since linking verb here is used in the sentence, then it is called predicate nominative. And the linking verb here is are, okay, are is our linking verb, and linking verb in a sentence like this is equivalent to the equal sign, just like in math. In math, in any equation which uses the symbols equal, it means both sides of the equation are equal, even if the other side is zero, okay. The same also in English language. Since in this case, R is used in the sentence as a linking verb, then 
This sentence can be inverted without changing the idea. Pwede nating balik tayo nito. Ben and me or I are the contestants. Okay, it should be like this. Steps how to get the correct answer. First, rewrite the sentence in normal order. Like this one. Ben and me or I are the contestants. We can rewrite this in normal order because this is called predicate nominative. Okay. Here is our predicate, Ben and me or I, but this predicate tells about the subject, contestants. Actually, it names the subject. So, we can invert this. We can use Ben and me or I as our subject, like this one. So, our subject dito ngayon ay ito ng Ben and me or I. And then, our predicate is are the contestants. Okay. Now, next. Okay, next step is cover Ben and and then read the sentence. Just like this. Natakpan natin itong Ben and and then read the sentence. Me or I are the contestants. If your answer is me, it doesn't sound correct because you cannot use me as a subject in the sentence. So the correct answer is I. And then just replace R with am because we have now a sentence with only one subject. So just use am. But in the original sentence, our verb here is R because our subject is uh, compound, dalawa, uh, Ben at saka ito. So, since I hear our correct answer, then our in our original sentence, the correct answer is also I. Okay. Now, next, about nominative pronouns with a positive. When an appositive follows a pronoun used as a subject or predicate nominative, the pronoun should stay in the nominative case. Example, the only ones invited are we or us students. Now, in this sentence, our positive here is students. When we say a positive, it is a word that refers to the previous word. This a positive refers to the previous word, we or us. Ito ay tumutukoy dito sa naunang pronoun na we or us. So, in this case, we can remove the noun students without changing the idea in the sentence. Pwede natin tanggalin ito nang hindi na babago ang sentence. Alright, here's the technique. First, we are going to rewrite the sentence in normal order. Like this. We or us students are the only ones invited. As I've said, students is acting as an appositive and it can be removed without changing the idea in the sentence. Pwede natin tanggalin nito nang hindi na babago ang idea sa sentence. So we are going to cover this. Cover students, then read the sentence. Okay, we are going to cover this. And then read the sentence. We or us are the only ones invited. Of course, if your answer is us, it, doesn't, it does not sound correct. Because you cannot use us as subject in the sentence. We can use only we as a subject. So, it should be we are the only ones invited. So, here in the original sentence, the correct answer is we. Alright. Remember now the techniques. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a short quiz and here's the direction. Choose the pronoun in the nominative case to complete each sentence. The purpose of this quiz is to determine if you have understood our lesson today. Now, here's an example. Wilma and she or her left early today. I'd like you to apply the technique you have learned today. Now, in this example, the technique is cover Wilma and, and then read the sentence. Of course, it should be she left early today. So the correct answer here is she. All right, here are now the items, one to 10 items. Just try to apply all the techniques. Yung pagkukover, Yung uh, pag-i-invert, pagbabaliktad ng sentence. If the uh, verb used is linking verb, 
pwede mong balikta rin yan na hindi nababago ang idea sa sentence. Because as I've said, it is predicate nominative. Then try to answer the items. Just remember to apply all the techniques. <clears throat> and then afterward, we're going to check your answer. By the way, these uh, items are useful not only from high school, also for junior high school, and then even in college, this technique can still be applied. All right, yes, now, let us now check your answer. For number one, the correct answer is, is I, because if you are going to cover Nina and then, ang matitira ito na lang. The correct answer is I, because you cannot use me as a subject. I will give our report first. For number two, the correct answer here is he. You are going to cover Tony and, of course, ito ang matitira. He deserved credit for our trophy. You cannot use him as a subject in the sentence. It, not only it doesn't sound correct, but also you cannot use him as subject in the sentence. Number three, the correct answer here is, here is we. Now the technique is rewrite the sentence in normal order. Babalik tayo natin ito. We, uh, us, we, members of the board, are the ones who decide. And then disregard or takpan itong members of the board. Ang mga matitira ay, us, we, are the ones who decide. So it should be we. We are the ones to decide. Number four, the correct answer is, here is I. Of course, the technique is, just invert the sentence. Balik tarin lang ang sentence. Me or I was the only one. Uh, was the one who called you yesterday. So the correct answer here is I. For number five, he is the correct answer. Now the technique here is, cover and and ami. Takpan lang ito. And then ami. And then, kasi gagawin natin simple siya. Uh, simplified yung subject. Isa na lang subject. So, tatakpan natin ito. Ang matitira itong he and him. So, the correct answer is he. He collaborated on that book. Number six. The correct answer here is he. The, the technique again is just cover Alfred and Ito lang matitira. So, the correct answer is they. They were sent to serve the visitors. Number seven. Again, tatakpan natin itong Stella and ang matitira itong I at me. So, the correct answer here is I. I, and then, gagawin mong amit to kasi siya lang subject. I am studying Greek. So, here, the correct answer here is I. Okay, number eight. The correct answer here is he. Again, this is a sentence which is inverted. Ang tawag nito ay predicate nominative kasi ang ginamit na verb ay linking verb na verb. So pwede natin siyang baliktarin. Robert and he, him were the students who saw what happened. A dead. Tagpan itong Robert and he, him were the students who saw what happened. Okay. Dahil ang subject natin ay isa na lang, Gagawin natin itong ang where gagawin was. He was the student who saw what happened. Okay, so the correct answer here is he. Number nine, the correct answer is here is we. Now, this sentence has an apostive. Boys ay apostive natin. Dito. So, babalik tarin muna natin ang sentence. And then, takpan ang boys. We. Or us or we are the best players in this competition. So the correct answer here is we. For number 10, the correct answer here is she. Tatakpan lang natin itong both Marge and. Tatakpan ito. And then, going easy to, she is good at dancing. So the correct answer here, here is she. Alright, I hope you have learned something in this video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
also click the notification bell para palagi kang updated sa aking mga bagong video. And of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.